Okay, Ryan, looks like we've got a good day for it, eh? Boy, I guess. It's crispy. <laughs> yeah. Man, I can't wait to get at it and see these big stags. Oh, yeah. Okay, Ron, this morning we're going to, uh, going to work all these basins up there. You see those little drawers and things? Uh -huh. The stags, at this time of year, we're into July now, so they're, they're not going to be with the hinds. They're most likely, it's, it's the old stags are going to be by themselves. Pretty late in the year for them? Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, yeah. so they're sort of like our wintering elk at this point. Exactly. We're going to find this, the big mature stags mm -hmm. more than likely by themselves. So we're going to check all those basins up there. And a good spot to find them is on the sunny sides and in, in, in around all the scrubs. So. So why don't we just sneak down this creek so we're out of sight and uh, okay. we'll get a little closer and start doing some glassing. How's that? Heavy duty glassing. Okay, Sounds let's like go. fun. I brought the binocular for yeah. it. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, they're a beautiful trophy, they really are. See how this, this guy's got his um, all his points nice and shined up like they look like ivory tip. Oh yeah. So you, you think you want to go uh, tiptoeing through all that brush to get one? You just as soon get one on an open grassy slope, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh I yeah, it's, it's a problem with all that brush and stuff. So once you get in there, you yeah, can't see, see any, anything. Yeah. It doesn't look that uh, high from here, but right. you can't no, see much. I can see it's pretty get. high and steep. I have enough yeah. experience in that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do, wait him out? Yeah, we're just going to have to wait him out till he, uh, till he moves a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. See if we can get a shot on him when he comes out into a clearing. I think that's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been hunting uh, pretty much all my life since I was, you know, like 10 or 11. But uh, we've got into this professional hunting about five years ago. Well, down here at Cadrona Safaris, situated in the Cadrona Valley, which is in the southern part of the South Island, just south of the Southern Alps. Our area that we own and farm is in excess of 8,000 acres. As you can see, it runs from where we are at the lodge at 1,300 feet above sea level to 6,000 feet above sea level. Don here, who has guided you, was third generation, I'm second generation, and of course my father first generation on this property. Uh, but in Cadrona, we are in fact our fifth generation families in this area. Oh, oh he's, there he goes. What do you think? Should we try to intercept him? We could try to get over there. Come from the backside, huh? We're just a little bit closer, because if we go down this way, he's just going to see us, right? Yeah. We were fortunate enough to find a bull fairly low in the foothills. There's that one on the skyline I saw before, now look at him. He looks awfully heavy. Yeah. I don't know yeah, that he, he does, doesn't him. he? I'll tell you what, I'll get the spotting scope on him and, yeah, and, do check, and check him out. And while we were looking at him, watching him, and, and planning stalking routes, we found several more bulls higher up the mountain, all the way to the top, right against the skyline. And I'm telling you, they are magnificent. Don, you gotta look at this guy, he's yeah. huge. That's a good looking, looking stag up there. Yeah, well how he's, big do you think he is compared to this one we're looking at down here? Um, not as big. Not as big? No. I think it's just because he's against that skyline. Of those exactly, yeah, yeah. And one of the big bonuses about being a hunting guide is the people you meet. There's a lot of nice people coming through through our lodge every year and a lot of friends, a lot of contacts. And I get to go overseas and hunt with them also. I have a lot of fun being a hunting guide. But he's got long main beam, he sure has. He's, and he's a nice stag. Yeah. But he's, uh, this guy we've been looking at before, he's... He's better. He's so we can go after this one. He's a with a clear conscience. Because yeah, I'd exactly. hate to come all this way oh, no. and shoot the second biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we, we won't do that. So we're just going to sneak down and then get in this next little draw and go back up on him. That's what I would do. Yeah. He's just drifting up there feeding quietly. So we've got plenty of time. We'll just take I'll, it easy and get up on I'll him. I'll try not to get too excited. <laughs> okay. You know, I wasn't really surprised. I've seen enough photographs and footage of the uh, beautiful Alps here in New Zealand, so I was expecting dramatic mountains, but I gotta tell you, I wasn't expecting quite this much beauty. They are just physically stunning. It's just the ultimate alpine scenery. Let's just sneak along down through here, around over that ridge and have a good look over there, right? Boy, you know, I didn't do enough preparing myself for this trip. I didn't think I was going to go until next year. But this thing popped up as a good opportunity, so I jumped on it. So I'm a little bit rusty there, a long winter layoff. We have access to the top of the hunting areas, so some parts of it are steep, but you know, we can get out on the ridge. It's not actually that bad walking, you know. I didn't expect to hunt them out of a helicopter. Yeah, oh no, no, no. And onto that, where uh, 
you know, if you just take it nice and steady, not too fast, too soon, it's definitely doable, you know. So you don't want to run? No, no, no. It's very accessible to the average person. Boom. Can't shoot because of all the brush. We've got to wait for him to get out of that brush, man. You know, a good guide would have gotten up there and cut that brush away. <laughs> it's my least favorite part. What's that? Weeding him out oh. is my least favorite part. I'd rather stalk him in or jump him or something. Of course, you don't want him running either, so you have to wait. Mm. The waiting drives me crazy. I get all excited and shaky. I can't stand it. Mm. I can't take the pressure. How about if I put a, a, a knife in my teeth and crawl up there and get him? I hope he didn't stab first, because I don't think I'd have a chance. <laughs> He's got a whole lot more stabbers than I yeah, you get more knives than I do. <laughs> knife? That's not a knife. That's a knife. I've been hunting since I was a boy in South Dakota. Chased pheasants and ducks, and when we finally got deer, we chased deer. And boy, that, that pretty much did it for me. The excitement of being out there with the wild creatures has just always been sort of a driving force in my life. I don't see myself so much as a hobbyist hunter is more of a, a lifestyle. It just pretty much defines who I am. If he'd step up on that edge, I could take him. So we were patient, Ron was patient, and uh, we don't want to be shooting a stag when, you know, when we've only got a split second to shoot. We don't really want to do that. Yeah, he's going to go down in that cut. Oh. Isn't he something? He really knows how to stay out of harm's way. I've always been interested and intrigued by the red stag, and it's been a game animal that the kings of, of Europe hunted for ages. So I've always been interested in an opportunity to hunt them and I've learned over the years that Argentina and New Zealand are probably the top two destinations for red stag. So when the opportunity came to hunt down here with Cajona safaris for red stag and knowing the reputation New Zealand had for big red stags, I grabbed it quickly and here I am hunting red stags in a just unbelievably gorgeous country. Man, that guy has just disappeared. see him either. He came around the backside of this mountain to get up above him. He was right on that bench when we left him. I'll bet what happened is when he, we got out of sight, he left. Because most game will do that if they're watching you and they're a little bit cautious and then you back off and they can no longer see you. They don't feel safe anymore. They're gone. Don's quite a ways down there looking back in and he still doesn't see anything. I'll bet we're going to go around the mountain. You have to go over the top and look down the back side, which would be kind of fun anyway. Well, so much for the, the easy shot. All right, he found him. That's what you hire the guides for. Yeah, here comes Don. Not that I didn't want to climb up on that rock. It's just that I didn't want to embarrass the guy because it's his job. I didn't want to upstage him or anything. What drew the Europeans to New Zealand was the grass the best in the world for raising sheep. They saw an opportunity, though, to bring other animals, wild ones, who would find ample grazing and browsing, too. Predominantly, we hunt red stag, and we also hunt elk, fallow deer, tar and chamois, two types of mountain goats we hunt. The first big mammals in New Zealand were pigs left by sailors, and today they're still called Captain Cookers, Settlers later formed acclimation societies to introduce game animals. Red deer were almost too successful, to the point of being declared a pest. Birds and fish also came to New Zealand, making it today a sportsman's utopia. The original farming base here was running merino sheep, and those merino sheep went right to the tops of those mountains. And you know, nowadays they've got some great game hunting going for some, well, red stag, that's their big thing down there. They've got red stag like probably nowhere else in the world most certainly with the stag hunting. That's all about a genetic resource which ourselves here as a family have been involved with for over 30 years now. So we are producing the world's most outstanding red stags. Obviously we all want a, a huge trophy. I'm, I'm going to settle for what, what's available. You know, as long as it's a good stock, a good hunt, and a good shot, it's not going to matter a few inches one way or another. Now I am hoping for a really big stag simply because I've never hunted red stag before Reminds me a lot of an elk, but they've got that crowning up on the tops of their antlers that is just stupendous. There's a lot of history with the red deer in particular, which is a key feature of the New Zealand hunting fraternity. 
The deer were protected when they were introduced to New Zealand in the later 1800s, that 1870 thereabouts. By the time we got to the 1940s, they were in huge, huge numbers and were causing a lot of erosion problems in the New Zealand high alpine areas. Many biologists consider elk and red deer to be the same species. While rutting elk bugle, red deer roar. Now the red stag, they are quite similar to hunt as the elk are in America. During the roar, you will find them by themselves with a few hinds each. Queenstown down here where we landed is, is a gorgeous little mountain village in which uh, hang gliding is done and a lot of the bungee jumping and all those extreme sports. But I think it's, it's best for its hunting. We're looking for an individual or maybe a small batch of bachelor bulls. It's basically all spot and stalk hunting. We don't generally do much calling. Of course, during the roar, we listen for the, for the stags roaring and then we know which direction to uh, walk in and, and, and glass at. Just do a little bit of glassing here, on. There he is, right, right down there. We were fortunate enough to find a bull fairly low in the foothills. In the shadows? Yep. Oh, yeah, I see him. Yep. I see him down see him there. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, that, down there. yeah, that's the one. That's the one we're looking at. The same guy, isn't it? Let's get up here and let's get ready for a shot. Right. You should have a good clear shot from right here. That's not bad. Yeah. About, uh... Right, there he is. He's coming up into the... Right into the sun there. Just wait oh, yeah. till he stops broadside and then just give it to brush. him. Right up brush. in the shoulder there. There he is, and then stop. He's, uh, take him now. Take him? Yep, take him. Oh, that's a great shot. You hit him in the shoulder, but yep. you better give, get down. another one into him, though. He's still, he's still moving. All right, yep. here we go. All right. Oh, yeah, uh, he's down. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. What a shot. Oh, Two good know. shots. That's great. Pretty tough animal. You got it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. Well. <sighs> Man. Look at that, huh? <laughs> He's down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, oh, look, no. look at them all running now. Yeah. Look, wow, I mean, look how many were hiding in there. Yeah. I tell you what, you shot yourself a nice steak. Why don't we oh, get? I guess, why don't we get up and get on to them? Huh? No, no, no. I got to sit here and soak this in, man. <laughs> I'm just look at this country. Yeah. Yes. This is pretty much everything I dreamed it could be down yeah. here for this red steak, mm -hmm. honey. You need to come to Idaho sometime. Yeah, I'll yeah, trade I'll, you an elk hunt. Yeah, I'll get up there. He went down right away, and usually with a shoulder shot, if you, you knock that animal down, you've come awfully close to the spine or you've broken it. Down the hill he went, slid down into the brush, and disappeared. So he's down there, and we're going to find him. Better be a little careful with all this snow. It's frozen ground here. We're, yeah, it gives me a good grip. I like that yeah, snow. Right, right about the middle of winter. We've, uh, what would your, be about the equivalent of our January for your season? Yep, or? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Ooh, he's down in a hole, isn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a steeper angled shot than I thought it was. Yep. Uh, he rolled down off that face. He's he down here somewhere, though. Yeah, I got that rock marking him. Yeah, yeah. That big yeah. rock. Yeah. We'll, we'll catch up on him. We'll find him. This must have been the flat where he was standing when we first came over, huh? Yeah, that's, that's about exactly right, right, right well, in there's here There's that rock. Yep. Now, that's where he went. Where you shot him, he was just right over there, just under those rocks here somewhere, and he just tumbled oh, down. Yeah. Yeah, so there's it's... that tree. Yep, exactly. He, we lost him yeah. and we rolled. There's yep. a little path that he rolled yep, right down exactly. by that big rock. You can see it that's straight it. over there. So he's we'll down just... in that thick stuff. I bet you he's just right down there in that little gutter. Right there. He came down through yep. that broken stuff. Straight down, like that, huh? Got to be there down. he is. Look at that. There he is. There he is. Yeah, right down there. Huh? Oh my! Did he fall in a hole? <laughs> We're gonna have a work cut up for us yeah, pulling him out a... of there. Let's see how strong you are. Go for <laughs> it. Oh, look at the antlers on this guy. Yeah, look at him. He's a beauty. Man, isn't he? <laughs> I suppose you're used to this stuff, but this is the first oh, time yeah. I've ever come up on a dead red deer and seen him. Yeah, my look at that. God, look at the mass up on top of yeah. those crowns. Oh yeah. <gasps> look, look at this side. Look, look at the way the crowns up like this. You can make the... you can make a drinking cup out of that God. hole in there practically. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, he's got these nice. Lowest set tines here. And, yeah. and that beautiful oh, yeah. ivory polish mm -hmm. on every end of them, boy, he's been working them yeah. over good. Now, how does that rank amongst the heads you've taken and stuff? Is it oh, just this is right up there. Right up there, yeah, huh? No, this is, this is a good head. We pulled him out of there and looked at those antlers. I want to tell you, they were everything I dreamed they could be and should be. Unbelievable. 22 points, 11 on each side. Massive crowning up there on the top with all these points hanging up and lots of palmation surrounding them. Just an incredible amount of bone on top of them. And all we have to do is uh, watch you pull him out of here. <laughs> yeah, this is where the hard work begins. Huh? For you, maybe. I don't...